Hello, Tim Morris from Cincinnati State with you today. We're going to talk about one of my favorite subjects, which is hydraulic pumps. In their textbook, loves this uh, illustration. This is an illustration of a hand pump. And so we're going to break this down. Now, hand pump, they have us learn hand pump because there's some really interesting fundamentals here that make this thing work. So let's break this thing down. They have uh, two pictures. There's a picture up above and a picture down below. You'll notice that the picture up above is A and the picture down below is B. You can see it right here where they've got this. There's this A thing and there's this B thing. Okay, so what we need to know about it Let's look at one of the two pictures. So the way this is set up is this first picture they're showing us A. And if you look, there's an arrow. And they say that you're going to, that there's a handle on this. And I'm pumping this pump. I'm going to pump it. I'm going to pump it, right? So actually, I like, like this, right? Ugh. Okay. So I'm um, going to pump it. And this arrow shows that I'm going to take the handle. I'm going to push in. Now what happens in here is we have an inlet port and an outlet port. And we have this thing called a check valve. Now a check valve allows flow only in one direction. So what happens is when we push in on this A, we have a check valve here. This is at the inlet port. So fluid is going to come in. Hydraulic fluid's coming in. It's going to go into this chamber. And then we're going to try to squeeze it out the outlet port. Now, what happens here is in this situation, when we push here, we have a plunger. And it shows us our O-rings. And so we have fluid in this section here. And we, as we push this piston this way, uh, it pressurizes this. And the pressure pushes this ball against the inlet so that the fluid can't go in. So this is what I call the output stroke. Okay, so as we push forward, it can't go this way, but there's a secret passage. And it goes down the middle. And there's a check valve there. And this ball, it can push against the spring. And it can then go around the ball and out the outlet port. Okay, so this is kind of the outlet stroke. And this check valve here will not let it go pass through the indoors, right? It's got to go through the secret passage to the outdoor, right? The next, the next illustration, you see we're pulling, this is B, illustration B. We're pulling the handle towards us. Uh, and what it does is the outlet port, um, it pulls this thing this way. The spring is holding this check valve uh, open. But as we pull, we're kind of pulling a low pressure. Some people might say a suction. We're pulling a low pressure. So as this pulls this way, we're pulling. This is a piston. That's a puck. It's pulling this puck. Actually, let me see. It went like that. It went like this, right? It's pulling the puck. And this one here is seated. Because any fluid here is going to seat the ball and the spring is going to seat the ball. But this ball pulls down because he gets sucked down off of the seat and inlet fluid is allowed to flow through there. So if we put them all together, <clears throat> let's, start with, let's start with B because I like to start with B. When we pull the handle towards us, it pulls this piston towards us and opens this up. And just like a syringe... It sucks this ball off here and fills the reservoir until it's full. This ball here stays seated. Then when we go up to A and we actually push it forward, now this chamber was full because we, we filled it with the inlet. When we push it this way, the piston moves back and the fluid seats the inlet ball and goes through this passage to the outlet. And that's the hand pump. The next pump we're going to talk about is actually the simplest of all pumps. In fact, all these pumps beyond this are simpler. So let's look at the gear pump. This is a gear pump. It has two gears in it. And we can see fluid comes in the bottom. And then it goes around. It goes around the outside of the, the gaps between the teeth. So fluid comes up here. Some of it goes around the blue around the outside, and then when it gets here, it goes out the top. 
Some of it goes around the outside of the, the channel on the red. So here's some fancy words. I don't know. I hear slide. Gear pumps are classified as positive displacement pumps. All these pumps in this section are positive displacement pumps. Now what that means is that with this, every time, I'm going to go back, every time this thing turns one revolution, you get the same amount of fluid every time. Okay, for every revolution, it's always the same. You say, well, I'd like more. Can I increase it? Well, not really. You can increase it by speeding up the engine, but that's all. So it's fixed. It cannot, it, it's not variable. It, every time this thing turns one revolution, you get the same amount of fluid. Fixed displacement pump. So that's what we're talking about here. These, these are, this is a very, very old pump style. You'll see this in engines. This is how the oil pump is done inside uh, a lot of engines. So here's another picture of our gear pump. The engine is connected to this one that says driver. So as the engine rotates or as something's rotating this shaft, the driver is rotated by the engine. This one free wheels. He says driven, right? So as we rotate this, this guy, they turn into each other. That's how gear meshing works. That's physics, simple physics for gear, right? Shows what comes in. The engine is driving this gear. So fluid goes either left or right. Some of it goes left, goes between the teeth. Now, in here, we're going to talk about meshing. Here, let's look at this. So here's our inlet number one. We've got the, the colored, the blue color. It comes in here. Now, it can't go, these gears are squeezed together, so it can't go down the center. That's blocked off. The, the, the gap, the opening for this fluid to fit through is between the teeth. So here in number two, we can see that fluid is going around the teeth, around the outside. And then as it gets to the discharge area, number three shows what we call the meshing area, where the teeth mesh together. And where the teeth mesh, mesh together, it squeezes the oil out. So there is only one, one way that this oil can go, and it's out the outlet. It can't go back this way because there's more oil coming towards it. It's like trying to, trying to walk backwards. You know, at the end of the baseball game, the whole crowd is going out the parking lot. You're trying to go, you're trying to go back to the seats. You know, it ain't going to happen. So this meshing area is what squeezes the oil out, doesn't let it go through the center, and forces it out the discharge. Simple, simple pump. Here's, here it is. It's, so the blue one is, is the driver connected to the engine. This one is an idler gear or what we call driven. Simple, 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 simple. Another fixed displacement pump.